also a library. Now, a lot of you might say, but Ella, I didn't know you could read. Well, I am. Okay, that wasn't me. Anyway, I'm going to give you the exclusive tour of this place. So sit back and relax. Don't grab a book because you should be watching this video. If you are a regular on this channel, you'll know that that was very contained. That was indeed a library burp at its finest. Oh my god, everything's rumbling. It must be all the dairy I ate 40 minutes ago. Speaking of which... Okay, so they're not open for check-in just yet, but thankfully they have what is most definitely the best amenity available. That is, of course, their very own cafe, which of course we will be utilising, and by utilising I mean abusing. Also, everything is charcoal themed, or at least I assume that it's charcoal themed because everything's black. And uh, this drink has its own little pocky on top. Pocky. Pocky? Little breadstick thing with the chocolate. How do you like your coffee? Milk? Sugar? Bread. Everyone else got these massive straws and I love me a thick daddy straw. I'm probably gonna have to get seconds So I got the big daddy straw the next morning and the only photo I got of it was this one of me apparently Sticking the straw up my nose Oh, she's good. It's like 3 p.m. I'm having what is <laughs> my um, this is my sixth coffee for the day Perhaps opting to come to a library capsule hotel on a day where I have consumed six coffees was not the wisest of ideas And yet here we are. So basically I'm gonna be giving you guys the full tour of this place. Oh my god, is that? Oh, okay <laughs> So basically I'm gonna be giving you guys the complete tour of this place right after a brief mukbang intermission Oh my god <laughs> when I was little I used to draw a lot with charcoal and if you've ever drawn with charcoal You'll know that it's pretty messy and if you've ever had the misfortune of touching your fingers to your mouth after drawing with charcoal You'll also know that it's not innately tasty so kudos to this cafe for achieving the impossible Mmm next time I draw with charcoal I'm gonna have to resist the temptation to lick my fingers honestly this has changed my perspective on charcoal forever It's probably not even charcoal and I think it's probably squid ink. Also, every time I have ever painted a masterpiece in charcoal, by the time I picked it up and took it to show my mum, it was just a blur. Charcoal paintings are like boys. They never last longer than a few seconds. Now, this is the real deal. Wait, can you- oh no. This dessert right here is entirely me. It's circular, carby, round, and has a sizable hole in the middle, which it likes to fill with cream. Also, I'm not entirely sure how to go about this whole mukbang thing, because I don't know how else to say it. I'm a messy eater. I have a lot of difficulty whenever I'm out with my friends at restaurants, because as soon as the waiter takes away our plates, he lifts up mine. Half of my meal is left sitting there in my area. It's very incriminating. Also, I don't know how people are supposed to look, like, not necessarily good while they're eating, but at least not look like a front-facing selfie. Perhaps now is our time to give it a go. <laughs> I haven't watched the footage back yet, but I'm just gonna go right ahead and say this is not my finest moment. A very important update. The dairy has started to take effect. This evening, the residents of Book and Bed will all bear witness to my grand performance. The pitter patter of me running up and down these hallways to the communal toilets. Some call it percussion, others call it poo-cushion. So, once again, you've probably noticed that I have managed to consume an entire meal in dairy. The last time I subjected my digestive system to this kind of treatment, I was on the toilet for two days. Speaking of toilets, love that smooth segue for me. This is one of the communal toilet cubicles. Let's start the tour. For those of you who are regular visitors of this channel, you know that this is what you signed up for. But those of you who just stumbled on this video by chance, I'm so sorry. I, I can only imagine what you're, what you're going through right now. Uh, so this is a shower. I trust you've all seen one before. This is a toilet, and at first glance you might think it was a normal, regular toilet, but then you realise, besides the fact it's a mechanical Japanese transforming toilet, it, uh, it has a specially carved out ledge for your poo. What, what, what is that? It's like some ancient renaissance sculptor got their hands on the toilet bowl in here. Michelangelo's David who? Look at those curves. I don't have anything to say, I just wanted a shot of me sitting here with the buildings. Enjoy the view, spoiled by your foreground. Welcome to today's episode of This Is How Introverts Party. Feet my nostrils. So I have 
this kind of love-hate relationship with reading. Whenever I start a book, I literally lose every cell of productivity that has ever existed. You know that triad that sleep, study, social life, choose two? Well, you throw books in there and you only get to choose one. Everything flies out the window. Study, gone. Everything you're learning is replaced by the plot line of your latest book. Social life, well, honestly, that's not a big deal. I didn't have one to begin with. Sleep, mind you, I spend most of my nights lying awake stressing about the fact that I think I might be lactose intolerant. Well, I, I know I am lactose intolerant now, but sometimes I like to throw the think word in there because it makes it seem a little less real. Reading just takes over everything. So does my so does my lactose intolerance. Actually, that's a brilliant idea. I should merge the two addictions, dairy and books, put books in the toilet, because I spend half of my life sitting on the royal throne anyway. Might as well indulge in two addictions at once. Oh my god, I swear, after this Japan trip, I have to lay low on the dairy jokes. They're honestly not funny anymore. Anyway, I was seriously considering just turning this channel into a mukbang channel. Mukbang. Muk into a eating channel. Why? Because as of late, even when I try to film a video that is not a mukbang, it somehow just turns into a mukbang. We're practically already there. I should mention as well, this place has its own bar, of which we will not be attending because bring your mixes, ladies and gentlemen. Ella plus alcohol does not mix. And even more so, Ella plus alcohol plus libraries. Just there's a significant conflict of decibel, which could leave me on the streets. I mean, at least I know my limits. And in this case, my limits are zero. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go find a picture book or something. 